In this video, I'm going to solve one question from the chapter, Heron's formula. It says, if every side of a triangle is doubled, then we have to find the percentage increase of the area of the triangle after doubling the two side. So what I'm going to do, let's say, if I, for example, if I draw a triangle here, I'm drawing a triangle and say this is one triangle and then I'm going to make another triangle and uh, let's say this is the first triangle and the other triangle so formed is over here and uh, in order to make this triangle what I'm keeping in mind that the side is being doubled so in that case if I take the sides of this triangle as A, B and C then the sides of this triangle will be twice of A, that is 2A, 2B, and 2C. Now, for finding the area, we need the semi-perimeter, which is the sum of the sides of this triangle divided by 2. And let's say mark it equation 1. And likewise, we can get the area, which is whole under root. This is S, S minus A, S minus B, this is S minus B and then S minus C. That is the formula. And for the other part, if I get, uh, say, if I take the semi-perimeter now as S dash, as you know, the sides are 2A, 2B and 2C. So it's 2A plus 2B plus 2C that divided by 2. Now this is S dash. What I can see that I can take two common here and if I took, take two common, that becomes A plus B plus C that divided by two. Next, what we can do here, I can see a relation here. I can replace this. Uh, I can replace this value that is uh, A plus B plus C from equation one. I can replace this as A plus B plus C. Let me once again show you what I mean to say here that this is A plus B plus C divided by 2 from equation 1. I can replace this with S. So we got a relation between the two perimeter as the all sides are doubled. The perimeter, all sides are doubled. So perimeter gets doubled and so is the semi-perimeter. Now in the next part, I'm going to find the area of this tr uh, new triangle area, which is A. And this time I'm taking A dash here. So it's going to be S dash because here S is S dash. S dash minus side, which is 2A. This is S dash minus 2B. And likewise, it is S dash minus 2C. Now, in the next part, I'm going to replace wherever there is S dash with its value, that is, say, equation 2S, 2S. So it's going to be 2s, then it is 2s minus 2a, this is 2s minus 2b, and finally it is 2s minus 2c. Now what you need to observe here that uh, we can take uh, two common, well how many two we can take common, you just have to see, we can take uh, two common from here, we can take two common from here. We can take two common from here and here. So we are getting one, two is already there outside. And we are, this two is already, and we have taken three twos as common. So after taking common, what we'll get here, the S will be S only, right? We'll have S only. And then this is S. Then it will be S minus A, S minus B, and S minus C. Now this is a doublet of two twice. So this under root of 16 actually, I can write this 16 outside. So that is A dash, the under root 16 is four. So I'll be writing four here. And this will be as it is. That is, this is S into S minus A, S minus B and S minus C. Now check again, we have this as A dash is equal to four times. From this equation, say I marked it, I can mark it, say two, let's make it three. 
as it has occurred earlier, I can replace this whole thing. Let me show you. This whole quantity can be replaced from A, from this equation 2, as you can see here. This is S, S minus A, S minus B is equal to A here. So I can replace this as 4A. Now we got the ratio here and we have to find the percentage increase. So clearly the new area is 4A and the original area is new area is 4 times A. So I can say that there is an increase and how much increase in area? Increase is equal to 4A minus A that is equal to 3A. And then if you have to find the percentage increase, that is what? Percentage increase is always the new. Well, this is the percentage increase I'm calculating. That is new area. That divided by the original area multiplied by 100. So if I reduce this, I can say there is an increase of 300%. So the final increase, you may write here. Once again, I'm showing you the percentage increase is calculated like this. Percentage increases is calculated as the new area which is 3a divided by the original area that multiplied by 100 percent and if i reduce i'm getting this as 300 percent in some cases you may be also asked instead of percentage increase they may ask you what is the ratio so we can see that uh, the ratio that if i find the old area that divided by new area so that is new divided by original as you can see this is 4a over a so the ratio they ask you it's going to be 4 is to 1 in case of percentage this should be the answer that is there is an increase of 300 percent